Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of St. Joe's Montvale is brought to you by Rothman Orthopedics. The bright side about him, he's, he's got a lot of upside, uh, you know, and he's going to continue to get better. When defensive linemen step onto the field at St. Joe's Montvale, they know they could be in for a long day. That's especially true when Gino Vandemark gets into his groove. My mean streak comes out really, especially late in the game, third and fourth quarter. I just, I play with a lot of emotion. I play with a lot of passion. I love the game. I love doing it. I love playing offensive line and it just comes out and it's, it's not a nice guy position. Big Gino has transformed from an out of shape freshman with no experience on the football field into a lean 295 pound four star offensive line recruit. You can't ask her a harder worker. Like he came in out of shape, not really new to football and he dropped like 50 pounds, started caring about his craft and became a beast out of nowhere, honestly. Literally smoking everyone, just running back and forth. He's just like a very hard working kid and he really does deserve everything that comes his way. Like I really had to transform my body and it was a lot of hard work. It was a lot of throwing up at conditioning sessions, a lot of, like, you know, like not lifting much weight when you wanted to, but at the end of the, like I just kept my nose down. And, and with his nose down, the Lodi native quickly turned himself into one of the premier blockers in the entire country. When you see him on film, you know that kid is something special. But Gino is one of those kids that you know you got to bring an A game or he's gonna you know, he's gonna get to you. Uh, you know we called him the dancing bear because uh, you know he was he's light on his feet and really good in pass protection and improved his run run protection. Uh, I mean his run game blocking. So he just really has come on. I I, I know what his offensive line coach Coach uh, Kakaro really really uh, is super high on him and he's one of the top uh, offensive one of the top two or three offensive linemen in this class in New Jersey. Vandemark really made a name for himself last season as the starting left tackle for Joes. It's not very often that offensive linemen make the highlights on Jersey Sports Zone, but his eye-popping pancake against Don Bosco on November 23rd certainly made the cut. Joes goes right back on offense, and we're going to pause the tape right here. We're going to highlight Gino Vandemark, a 2021 offensive lineman. Vandemark delivers a massive block. Flattens his man out. Alimo hits Albert Serrano for 16 yards in a first. I've always been trying to like do that move like all the time, like pushing the back and getting the chest, like getting my hand there, just like tabletopping the guy. Like that was something that Luke Whipler actually, like, you know, shockingly enough, he uh, he taught me he's my sophomore year and he would do it on guys all day in practice. And I just was like, wow, that looks good. I'll try that on somebody in game and it worked. And that relationship with Luke Whipler, a JSC Player of the Year finalist, epitomizes the reputation St. Joe's has in the Garden State. St. Joe's Montville has been the place uh, for offensive linemen in recent years. When you look at their lineage, um, and you know he's he's going to be a next in line to carry that over. Just everything has really come together, and it's going to be scary to see what he looks like this uh, coming senior season. College coaches are interested to see how Van Demark looks as well. His top six is Nebraska, Rutgers, Michigan State, Ole Miss, Tennessee, and Arizona State. But before college, he has one final goal on his mind. I don't want to end my high school career like I ended my junior season. Um, I will not be denied. I will not be denied. Nobody can take my second ring from me. I got one sophomore year when I wasn't starting. I need to be on a starting team. I need to be having a starting position on a championship football team. That's just something I'm not leaving high school with that. Nobody's going to take that from me.